Most AI tools promise you can build a website in one prompt. And you can, but it will look like everyone else's. Watch me build a completely custom professional website in just 10 minutes. No templates, no generic AI slop, just Reloom structured process. Every AI tool promises speed, but most skip the foundations that actually matter, strategy, structure and intention. Without these, it's basically just chaos with a deadline. Today I'm showing you the Reloom workflow. Sitemap, wireframe, styling and export. Real foundations, real speed. Let's go. I'm starting with Reloom AI to generate a sitemap from our brief. Let's type in the brief. Eco-friendly fitness studio needs to convert visitors into members and so on. I'm just gonna paste this in here and we are ready to generate the sitemap. Now let's look at this. It's not just giving us random pages, it's actually thinking strategically. And so the great thing is, if we don't like any of these sections, we can remove them or swap them out and even drag and drop them in any order we like. And I think that's pretty much done. So let's continue to the wireframe and we just need to head up here, hit wireframe and it will pretty much instantly generate the wireframes for us. And I think this is pretty amazing because just a little bit over 30 seconds and we already have wireframes for every page. But here's where it gets interesting. These aren't random sections, they're actually placed strategically. So the special thing about Willum is that these sections aren't AI generated, they're actually human built by experts with years of web design experience and I think you can really feel it. And so the main difference between this stage and the sitemap stage is here we get a little bit more specific and I have already a few specific sections in mind that we can use here so I'm just gonna swap them out. So pretty much every part of your website can be tailor-made to fit your client's needs and I think that's really convenient. And so once we're happy with our wireframe, we can head up to the top again to the style guide and start creating our own unique brand right inside Reloom. We haven't wasted a lot of time in the first two phases, so I think we can take a little bit longer here and to create something that is really unique. And I can just shuffle through the styles here, but I already have a specific concept in mind that we are gonna use. And so the next important step for our brand is obviously the colors. So I'm just gonna put in something that I had in mind to create like this brand with really calm earthy colors. If we go in here to the section, we can shuffle it around a little bit based on our main color, which I think works great. And here we already have a pretty solid concept, but I think we can make it a little bit more sophisticated. Also, I'm doing a little bit of adaptations for the color here. So what is nice is that we can really pick our shades that we want to use based on the colors we defined earlier. And so I'm gonna do that also quickly for the navigation on top. So at the moment I'm not quite happy with the typography. I think we can find something that has a little bit more character and that looks a little bit less generic. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is here pick a specific font. Um, let's quickly go through the options, what it's recommending us, uh, but we can just preview this here and also select it if we like it. So I found this one, I think it's quite modern and it also looks great for a fitness company. And we can increase the size in here to put it to large or use another size or weight for the headlines, which I think is a nice touch. And so let's also change the body font to something I've looked up before. So. Let's change it to this one. I think it looks quite cool and unique. And so let's quickly preview all the changes that we made so far. I think it looks already a lot more unique, but there's still some things to do. So in here we can tweak the, the buttons a little bit. We can change the roundness and preview it, make it super round or even with sharp corners. And I'm just gonna play around a little bit here and see if we can find something that is nice. And of course we can also change the roundness and the styles of the images and cards. But at the moment we're not using any cards so it doesn't really matter, but still we can change the style of the images. And the cool thing is that you can basically tweak everything to match your overall brand. And speaking of brand, we also need to add our logo here. So we go up to the top here and upload the logo. I've prepared this already in advance. And we need a light mode and dark mode version logo because here at the bottom in the footer we have a dark background. So we need a light logo, of course. So we're quickly adding this. And I think it looks quite good already. We've come a long way so far. 
but one thing that we still need to tackle is adding like changing the images because these are a little bit not fitting at the moment so i'm quickly adding all of this that i prepared in advance and i'm gonna speed up this section because you don't need to watch me like change all the images and i will see you in a second So far so good and I think we're nearing the final stages in our process. By the way, if we were to pitch this to a client we could head up here and create three different concepts but for this um, I think we're just gonna stick with one for now and once we're happy with that we can head into the last phase inside Redoom to the design view and basically the idea is to see the whole site coming together and to see all the styles applied to the semi-final site that we're gonna export in a minute and what I'm doing now here is just removing a few little details and items that we don't really need so I'm going through this side real quick to make some last few changes and removing these buttons down here and once we are ready with that we can export it to webflow and so for that we're just gonna head up to the top bottom right corner here and then we are basically ready to clone the reloom style guide as always gonna click the link in here clone it to our webflow workspace just gonna hit create site and in a second we will be inside the webflow editor already and so obviously what we want to do now here is import our created site from Redoom. so now we're going to install the Reloom webflow app and after that we're going to head into our project you can choose to import wireframe style guide or the final design in here we're going to hit design import all the pages and also here we can choose between the concepts and then we start the import. This can take a few minutes, so I'm just gonna fast forward that real quick. And so once this is done, we already have a semi-functional Webflow website ready to launch, more or less, but we still gonna tweak a few things and I'm just gonna head over the pages here, see if everything's there. All the styles are already applied, so we save a lot of time with this. But one thing that's not quite right at the moment is that our font is missing and that's because we need to upload them first. So we're gonna head here into the site settings and to the fonts and I'm just gonna upload the fonts real quick so that we can use them on our site. Once that's done, we go back into the Webflow editor. And so for this, we need to head into the variables panel in Webflow, go to typography and basically change the heading font and also the body font to the one that we are, uh, want to use and also the one that we just uploaded. And I think this way it already looks much nicer. So let's preview the site real quick that we just imported. All the buttons and everything already has some hover states. These interactions already work. But we need to make a tiny little tweak in here. So I'm just gonna remove this image from here. And I think then let's preview the rest of the site, but I think everything is pretty much ready to publish at this point. We can also take a look at the different viewports, like for example, the tablet and the mobile view and everything works great. It's already fully responsive, so you don't need to waste any time on that. And I think it's pretty amazing what we achieved in just under 10 minutes. And now let's have a quick look at a final showcase at what we built so far. So now if we compare it to what a traditional tool produces, this is the same time investment but a completely different outcome. So if you want to build like this, check the link in the description and you can try Reloom for free. And if you're already using Reloom, drop a comment with your fastest build time. Because speed without foundations isn't design, it's just chaos. But speed with foundations, that's actually the future.